Hello friends, welcome to our channel and in this video we're going to see how we can apply a corridor transition. So earlier we saw like we have different assemblies in the same alignment, okay? Here you see the, the reserve at this location is more and here it's lesser. So for this we use the different assemblies. We have already have two types of assemblies here. As you can see, okay, and you see the reserve width is more here in the first assembly, and second it's lesser. Okay, so when we want to apply a transition, maybe some at some location we want our carrier's way or any of the alignment to be of of a larger width, and at certain point it may be of a smaller width. We can accomplish that with the same alignment using the corridor transition option okay so let's click our select our corridor and then we have option here at the top for the edit corridor transition okay so for this example maybe we will try uh, creating a bus levi a simple bus levi and the suitability of the location of bus levi may be depend upon a lot of factors. For example, here we're gonna just use it, uh, put it here, okay. And I will just take a simple bus levi standard type, okay. So let's see how we're gonna accomplish it. So first step is to select the alignment, and then you will have contextual options available. From that, you have edit, edit corridor transition. Click on that, and then you will have a pop out which. First, we'll display the corridor. We have only one and the alignment, okay? And here you have a small option, a small plus icon, a symbol with a plus icon. So this uh, you can, let's move it over a little bit while using this, grabbing this part, and, okay, we we'll move it here. Okay, so this one here, if you, uh, we have already clicked it, okay? So when you click this, this small um, <clears throat> plus icon create alignment uh, corridor transition so let, let's click on this click on this and then it will ask you to select it so as we hover over the you know tran transversely through our corridor you have highlighted lines okay so at each you know when i when i hover over this particular location this is our main our carriageway and it gets highlighted okay if i click over it then i will have option to uh, increase the width of this particular part so let's increase the width of this carriageway here we're going to put a, uh, a bus levi okay so let's select it so when you when make sure when this is highlighted you see in the blue it's highlighted then then just click inside it okay once clicked it will you will have option depending upon the type of the sub assembly and its uh, properties okay you will have a lot of options right now we are only concerned about the width i'm going to increase this width and uh, a typical bus by symbol will you you will see somewhere on the screen and uh, some some kind of that we are going to uh, build it here here it will increase gradually and then for certain part it will remain constant and then it will decrease okay so our traffic is coming from this way from uh, this this direction it's going this direction so let's uh, let's just click on the width and then here it is gonna ask me where i'm gonna start with uh, my transition okay so for that i can either type or select I can select or type. The typing is better for accuracy. So I'm gonna start at 20. 10 is 20. So okay, I will just put 20. Okay, hit enter. And as you hit enter, you will see here it's already start station here. From here, you also you can do it, but it's selected right now. Okay, so right now here the width is 3.6. So at the start of our bus levi, it should be 3.6. So let it be. Just hit enter. Okay. Now after how you know how far this uh, will reach its maximum value that width okay so this will reach uh, with maybe we, we increase the width uh, maybe three meters more or maybe 3.5 meters okay more for this particular so 
uh, and the length it should follow maybe we just take it that for the transition to take place uh, maybe like uh, 20 meters okay let's let's put it 20 or maybe 25 meter 25 meter let's put it 20 meter okay so 20 meter enter and then it is asking at that location what would be the width okay so uh, let our width be right now is 3.6 so when we add or let's add 3.4 so it becomes 7 meter okay exactly so we'll put it 7 meter okay, enter okay after this it will ask you the type of transition you're going to apply it has all the options but for this particular case we will have linear transitions normally linear transition is preferred for the bus, sorry, by bus levi okay so we click linear and again if we continue adding it okay it will ask us so you see <clears throat> as you move here upwards it won't allow us you know uh, to go beyond before 20 because the chain is in the corridor the, the transition starts at 20 okay and so now again uh that that uh, this this from this particular location okay this one is not, not and this station is 20 it must be 40 okay we added 20 so it must be 40 okay so we put 40 actually that one is a mistake so no problem uh we put 40 and from that chain is what will happen is it will keep increasing and it will remain like uh, from 40 it will it, it's already seven okay this one should be 40 i will i will increase it later just wait for a while and uh, uh, here you have side defined also so it, it can it will not apply to another side it will apply to this particular only okay so at that location at 40 it will be 70 okay uh okay so this will remain seven okay seven and this will also be linear so let's 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 move it and then first first edit this one this should be 40 okay 40 and here it will start from 40 okay and then this will continue <clears throat> continue till uh maybe for 40 it starts and maybe for 10 meters or 15 meters we keep it 15 meters for this part 55 meter it will remain 55 same as 55 it will remain 7 meter, okay and again we can add more to it okay insert another transition below so it will start from 55 okay it will start from 55 and then we allow it to go till maybe 70 we add 15 meter more and we put it like 70 and at that location what we want is the <clears throat> to become a normal 3.6 meter okay 3.6 meter is our normal normal width okay so let's say apply apply okay now you see it has been built easily okay so for other things if you want so this is how it is built this is how the corridor transition is applied so this one is pretty good it is slick and you see it automatically adjusted our uh, you know footpath also okay footpath uh, there and you can put other apparent answers if you have okay let's check if it is seven meter or not it must be okay, so you see this part and you see it is okay, so seven meter here okay so this is fine and uh, okay this is great and you see the frequency has been increased number of the frequency has been increased so let's click again and understand it properly so the transition and for this transition what we have is it starts at 20 okay and goes till 40 you know and at 40 it becomes 7 meter so from here it interpolates and by linear interpretation usually the linear interpretation and it reaches seven meter and then from there it continues seven meter okay and then another seven meter and then 
you know it continues for 15 meters from 40 to 55 at 7 meter because here we have started the value we can just change it anytime you we want and then again goes from 7 to 3.5 from 55 10 is to 70 okay so this is how it works okay so this being said <clears throat> another thing i want to demonstrate is in this particular uh, if you have sometimes okay sometimes you have uh, this part we don't have enough space okay let's say, suppose uh, this reserve we don't have enough ac acquisition limit for this part so you gotta reduce also okay so let's apply another transition the first one is the flat so let's click on this plus icon and then we can apply transition for this part okay this part okay so buffer so this one is buffer two i'm gonna apply for uh, buffer with two okay so buffer with two so from where it is starting from here so from here <clears throat> maybe i only have uh, for this part i only will have like 0.5 meter left okay or maybe 0.2 meter left 0.2 only 200 okay so from again where we did we start at 20 so okay from 20 let's keep it the same 20 we started from 20 and then at this location what is the value it's two meter okay we can change that also it's two meter and at another location at 40 what we want what do we have here maybe we only have 40 like uh, to accommodate only 0.2 meter as it has a lot of fill so maybe we keep it like for 40 we have only you see it's uh, highlighted it's only maybe 0.2 meter left okay and you can you can select linear and then we hit enter to end this command and then say apply so we see it's already applied here okay and <clears throat> we can continue with this along our uh, this bus levi that we have defined so okay let's see let's again on this uh, particular transition we add another one if we just click this one another transition will be applied okay so not clicking on this one we're gonna apply a transition below it or above you can also apply like if you uh, before this you can apply then but i want it to be below below here so okay it will you see how it starts like from 40 it is starting okay at 0.2 so where it is ending at this one is ending also at 755 so we're gonna say 55 okay enter and then this one will for this part it will be only 0.2 meter okay so enter and you say apply and you see this one already you know pretty sleek so <clears throat> so another is uh, like again let's let's uh, add another one insert below okay and you see it's already highlighted here right now okay so this one starts at 55 and with 0.2 and will end at where 70 okay from there it will become normal okay so at that location it will become two meter okay so just by taper method we're gonna apply it okay you see it's pretty cool huh so this is how you're gonna and if you want to delete a transition you can just click and then delete okay and, and say apply okay and it's deleted okay uh but i don't want to delete it okay so you get back to the normal okay Control z twice and then it's undone undone okay so this is how you're gonna apply corridor transition in civil 3d okay hope this video helps you and if you find this helpful please share with your friends like and subscribe to our channel thanks have a great time